Good morning, Tuesday the 31st of May and having a little trip to the zoo today. I managed to get parked on the first level, which is great. I'm just walking down, we can hear the little sounds from the speakers that have been here. I don't know how long. Um, path's nice and green, which is always nice to see. I'm going to go down and I'll um, have a look at the flamingos. Oh, a monkey puzzle tree, which is always nice to see. Well, I think it's a monkey puzzle tree. Um, we'll have a look at the flamingos shortly. It's a big queue at the zoo today, however we have got passes so hopefully we'll be able to um, well, skip some of the queue possibly. Here's the flamingos. Are there any babies there or not? Can't see. new entrance here everything's all changed this used to be the brookside aviary and you used to be able to go across the boardwalk over there but that's all been closed off now and turned into a little pathway i believe down underneath that's the new entrance way there which was where we've come in from the old brookside aviary so you can go off towards the lions or around this way obviously that's going to be another pathway that goes along the bottom of the lions and tigers alongside the river not river lake even yeah so we're going to go this way to see the rhinos. These are here from when the rhino trail was on several years back. You can see these, these are the new new little ones, the little dick bits, the little mini deers. Very shy, so I don't move too much or they'll run away. Extremely cute. A pigeon in the next pen. <laughs> Very quiet in this bit, though it was absolutely packed coming in, so maybe I'll be busier here later. Always got goats in this bit of the zoo. Going in there. Really don't like it in here, in the frog house. All manner of revolting things, like, it reminds me of the biology lab at Churston. Really not nice. I mean, you know, I'm sure they're great creatures and that, but I mean, why would you want to look at that? And if you have a look over here, this is even worse. There's great splodges of frogs up here. Not pleasant, and there is also camouflage ones, which I don't think the camera will pick up on the, on the yeah, really, it's not for me, not for me, the frog house. And the pot belly pig. And some chickens. He's coming down to have a look at the old um, dove house. This has been here since I was little and I'm 50 this week and I can remember this always being here. I think they redid it a while ago. Um, 
can't really see the birds in there, but yeah, it's nice to see one of the old buildings still standing. I'm looking at things through the wire, I know, but I just wanted to show the dove house. Red panda. Yeah, Very cute. You know, we need to, we need to look Spot, at spotted laughing thrush. Yes. Very whistly. Oh, he's peeking at me through the fence. Hoping he turns round. No. Beautiful plants here as well. Well, Lovely plant for the bees. It's some sort of catnip plant, I believe. The bees seem to really like it. Saying that I can't actually capture the bees on the camera. There we are. Really beautiful. Very noisy peacocks today as well.
to be emus, ostriches or something down this bit when I was little. It's just astounded by the size of that tree. I don't know, it sounds a bit weird, but I do like trees. This used to be the badger set hut where you could come in the evening and um, watch the badgers come out, but that's not happened for a long time. But this, no one, nothing's been put in this paddock ever since. I'm always waiting to see if something's going to appear in there. And those are some of the original old buildings that have been here since the zoo began, I think. It used to be Pets Corner over there. Um, I've got a feeling, I want to say tapirs are in there now. 